Again, it's a Tuesday afternoon, April 21st. Just welcome everybody again who watches. Again, this is our fireside chats just to calm spirits and just keep us thinking about the power and the love that God has for us. And I hope everybody's doing well. I can't wait again to the day we can just meet again together and you all better be ready for some awesome hugs because they're coming. So again, just to welcome everybody here. Today I just want to start with a, a story I used to tell my children. It's a story called Stone Soup. And I don't know if you know the story or not. It's a, a traveler who comes into this town who was kind of known for being kind of stingy into themselves and he'd been traveling for a long time and was very, very hungry. And he kind of knocked on the door to see if anybody had anything to eat and they, a woman just cracked the door just a little bit. I just have enough for myself and what are you doing here? And that's how the town was. And the man just asked, hey, you wouldn't have a big, big pot that you could have, I could borrow. He says, well, yeah, and I got it somewhere outside. You can cook it, whatever it is. And he says, fine. And so he takes this huge, huge pot, puts it on the fire, puts some water, and he takes a big stone and he puts it inside the pot. And she says, what are you doing? He says, I'm making stone soup. It's just going to be wonderful. And I'd love to have you share it with me. And she thought about it and she got a little excited about it. And so as she came, is it, is it ready? She said, well, it's almost ready. But, you know, if you had just a little salt and pepper and some of this stuff and just put it in there, it would taste a lot better. So, oh, I have some salt and pepper. And so he put that in there. And she says, almost ready. He said, well, It'd be nice if we had a little more ingredients. You wouldn't have any salary or anything. And she goes, well, yeah, I do. So he put a little bit in my the neighbor and all the people who started galling around. Wonder what's he doing? He said, I'm making stone soup. He said, we never heard of it. And he heard now somebody else says, is it almost done? He said, well, it is, but if we had some potatoes, it'd really make it taste a little bit better. And one of the people said, I'll go get the potatoes. And threw it in there and pretty soon he says almost well you know what would really be good is maybe some chicken broth and maybe a chicken and one one person in the village ran off and got chicken broth another one ran off and got a chicken and pretty soon they had a feast and they all enjoyed it and they all went wow if only we could find a stone like this man we could make our own and he pulled the stone after his son. I said, the stone's still here. It has nothing to do this with the stone. It had with us all sharing. The little bit that we had, all of a sudden the whole village could eat. But that reminds me of a story that's in all four Gospels. You all know the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000. And I like looking because, all, like I said, all four Gospels have this story in it. And it's important to understand that there's two meanings, really, if you look at it. To the people who were there, who Jesus had let them stay because, you know, one of the apostles, hey, we, hey they got to go and eat. And he said, let them stay. And for them, this miracle of just a small boy coming with five loaves and two fish, we're talking feeding thousands. The Bible says 5,000 men. So now you're talking about children and women and how many thousands were there that day. And when it was all done, and he asks, go collect what's left after everybody's had their full. Not just a little bit for it, until everybody has their full. And when it was done, 12 baskets of bread was left over. Now, to the people, when they figured it out, what a miracle was this? Here's a man that can feed us, and here's a man that maybe is something special. But I think Jesus was really trying to make a point to his disciples. The point is that with just a little bit in the hands of God, abundance could be created. It wasn't about the feeding. It was trusting with just a little bit. This little boy comes and this is all he has. And the feeding of this many people is amazing. And we need to understand that. Because I believe today Jesus is asking us to do the same thing. To give what we have, no matter what it is, just to give a small little bit. And how far it can go. And isn't we're in this time right now where we have to stay put, where we need to do what we have to do 
there's still little things that we can do. We can still pray. We can still give, give. We can do little things. Find it. That's why I said put that thinking cap on and think of little things that you can do because it's those little things that can become huge. And here's their opportunity. As Jesus saw an opportunity with all these people wondering where they're going to eat, Jesus saw it was an opportunity to teach a lesson. And I wonder sometimes if he's always looking to teach us lessons, but we need to learn those lessons. And I think our lesson today is that we have, and when we share, we get more. And I know we have to stay put, but I really want us to get into the prayer. And if we all pray just those little prayers, it's going to be amazing. If we have something to give, we just give that little, it's going to be amazing. Like I said, I can't wait till we all get together. But God wants us to trust Him. God wants us to say, give it to me. Whatever your problems, give it to me. And whatever you can do to promote the kingdom, whatever it is, do it. Because God will show how this can just grow into an abundance. And as we talk to people, as we start spreading the word and do the little things in prayer, it's going to be amazing. When this is all over, people are going to realize that God is large and in charge and in control. I just wanted to leave you that with that little message today. That again, trust in God. Do what we can no matter what it is. From the very small, you put it in God's hands. It's amazing what can happen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our dear precious Heavenly Father, we just come to you thanking you for the stories that you've given us in the Bible. To me... What a great miracle it is that this Bible still exists and is so worthy in every day, in every age, in every time. Continue to let us search it and search you in all things. We just thank you for the gifts that you give us every day. Let us have a giving heart as you have. Let us have a loving heart as you have. Let us have a forgiving heart as you have. Continue to strengthen us. Continue to give us courage. Continue just to see the opportunities that we have each and every day to spread your word. We just thank you so much that we're here. We know there's going to be a day that we're going to rejoice, and we can't wait for that. But in the meantime, we'll take one day at a time, blessing you for that day. It's your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And again, I'll see you, talk to you next Thursday. Have a great day. Love you all. Thank you.